In this video, I'm going to solve this question. Let x denote the amount of space occupied by an article placed in a 1 cubic feet packing container. The PDF of x is this. In part A, we have to obtain the CDF of x. So in part A, we have to obtain f of x. We know that f of x is equal to integration of f of x dx from minus infinity to x. And as you can see here, f of x is equal to this expression for values of x between 0 and 1. So basically we can write that this is equal to integration of 90x raised to the power 8 multiplied by 1 minus x dx from 0 to x. And this is equal to integration of 90x raised to the power 8 minus 90x raised to the power 9 dx from 0 to x. This is equal to 90x raised to the power 9 divided by 9 minus 90x raised to the power 10 divided by 10. And we have 0 and x here. And this is equal to actually when we put the value 0 and x in this equation this will be equal to this only so we will get 90 x raised to the power 9 divided by 9 minus 90 x raised to the power 10 divided by 10 and now we can solve this so this is equal to 90 10 x raised to the power 9 minus 9 x raised to the power 10 divided by 90 and this is equal to 10x raised to the power 9 minus 9x raised to the power 10. So this is the cumulative distribution function for values of x between 0 and 1. I am saying for values of x between 0 and 1 because the PDF that we have used is the PDF when the value of x is between 0 and 1. So basically we have f of x is equal to 10x raised to the power 9 minus 9x raised to the power 10 for values of x between 0 and 1. For x less than or equal to 0, f of x will be equal to 0. And for x greater than or equal to 1, f of x will be equal to 1. So this is our cumulative distribution function and this is all about part A. Let's move to part B. In part B, we have to find what is the probability of x less than or equal to 0 0.5. So basically, we have to find f of 0 0.5. Well, we know that f of x is equal to 10x raised to the power 9 minus 9x raised to the power 10 for values of x between 0 and 1. And we have to find the probability that x is less than or equal to 0 0.5. So we can write f of 0 0.5 is equal to 10 0 0.5 raised to the power 9 minus 9 0 0.5 raised to the power 10. And solving this, we will get 0 0.010742. So this is all about part B. Let's now move to part C. So in part C, first we have to calculate the probability that x is greater than 0 0.25 and less than or equal to 0 0.5. And we have to use the cumulative distribution function that we found in part A. So in part C, we have to find the probability that x is greater than 0 0.25 and less than or equal to 0 0.5. We know that when x is a continuous random variable, we have a proposition that the probability that x is greater than or equal to a and less than or equal to b is equal to f of b minus f of a. So we can use this proposition to solve this. And actually I have put an equal to sign here, but because this is a continuous random variable, so that means this is also equivalent to saying that this is equal to probability that x is strictly greater than a and less than or equal to b. So it's one and the same thing. So now let's find the probability that x is greater than 0 0.25 and less than or equal to 0 0.5. So this is equal to f of 0 0.5 minus f of 0 0.25.
In part B, we calculated the value of f of 0 0.5. It was equal to 0 0.010742. And in the same way, we can calculate the value of f of 0 0.25. We can use the cumulative distribution function that we found in part A to calculate this value. And this value will be equal to 0 0.000029. So solving this, we will get 0 0.01071. 3. So this is the probability that x is strictly greater than 0 0.25 and less than or equal to 0 0.5. Now we have to find the probability that x is greater than or equal to 0 0.25 and less than or equal to 0 0.5. Well, because this is a continuous random variable, so the equal to sign does not matter in this case. So this probability and this probability, these two probabilities are same. So both the probabilities are 0 0.010713. Now let's move to part D. In part D, we have to calculate the 75th percentile of the distribution. So that means we have to calculate the value of x such that f of x is equal to 0 0.75. This is equivalent to saying that we have to calculate x such that the probability that x is less than or equal to that x is equal to 0 0.75. So this is what we have to calculate. We have to calculate this value of x. So we know that f of x is equal to 10 x raised to the power 9 minus 9 x raised to the power 10. And this should be equal to 0 0.75. And you can do trial and error to solve this equation for x. Solving this equation, you will get that x is approximately equal to 0 0.9036. Okay, so this is all for part D. Let's move to part E. In part E, we have to compute the expected value of x and the standard deviation of x. We know that expected value of x is equal to integration of x multiplied by f of x dx from minus infinity to infinity. In this question, we will have integration of x multiplied by 90 x raised to the power 8 multiplied by 1 minus x and the values of x that we have are 0 and 1. So we can write 0 and 1 here. So this is what we have to solve. As 90 is a constant, we can take it out. So this is equal to 90 and integration of x raised to the power 9 minus x raised to the power 10. And we have to integrate this from 0 to 1. Integrating this, we get this is equal to 90 and here we get x raised to the power 10 divided by 10 minus x raised to the power 11 divided by 11. And we have 0 and 1 here. And this is equal to 1 divided by 10 minus 1 divided by 11 and minus 0. This is equal to 90 multiplied by 1 divided by 110. And this is equal to 9 divided by 11, 0 0.8182. So this is the expected value of x. Now, after calculating the expected value of x, we have to calculate the standard deviation of x as well. We know that variance of x is equal to expected value of x square minus expected value of x whole square. We have already calculated the expected value of x. So now to calculate the variance of x, let's calculate the expected value of x square. We know that expected value of x square in this question will be equal to integration of x square multiplied by f of x dx from 0 to 1. And this is equal to x square multiplied by 90 x raised to the power 8 multiplied by 1 minus x dx. This is equal to, we can take 90 outside. So this is equal to x raised to the power 10 minus x raised to the power 11 dx. Integrating this, we get x raised to the power 11 divided by 11 minus x raised to the power 12 divided by 12. 
and we have 0 and 1 here. This is equal to 90. 1 divided by 11 minus 1 divided by 12. And this is equal to 90 multiplied by 1 divided by 132. So this is equal to 90 divided by 132. And now we can calculate the variance of x. So we know that variance of x is equal to expected value of x square minus expected value of x whole square. So it is equal to 90 divided by 132 minus expected value of x was equal to 9 by 11. So 9 by 11 square. And solving this, we will get 0 0.0124. But this is not the standard deviation of x, this is the variance of x. And we know that standard deviation of x is equal to under root of variance of x. So it is equal to under root of 0 0.0124 and this is equal to 0 0.113. With this we are done with part E, let's move to part F. In this part, that is the part F, we have to calculate the probability that x is more than one standard deviation from its mean value. So note this language, it is more than one standard deviation from its mean value. So the way I'm going to solve this is, first I'll calculate the probability that x is within one standard deviation from its mean value. And then I will subtract that probability from 1 to get this desired probability. So first of all, I'm going to find the probability that x is within 1 standard deviation from its mean value. So this is the probability that I'm going to find. This means that I'm finding the probability that x is greater than mu minus sigma, mu is the mean here and it's less than mu plus sigma. So x is within one standard deviation from its mean value. So this is the probability that I'm finding. We already know these values. So this is equal to the probability that x is between 0 0.8182 minus 0 0.1113 x should be greater than this value and less than 0 0.8182 plus 0 0.1113. So this means that we have to find the probability that x is greater than 0 0.7069 and less than 0 0.9295. And because x is a continuous random variable, so we know that this probability is equal to f of 0 0.9295 minus f of 0 0.7069 and solving this we get 0 0.6862. So this is the probability that x is within one standard deviation from its mean but we have to calculate the probability that x is more than one standard deviation from its mean value. So to calculate the desired probability, we have to subtract. So the desired, I'm just writing it in this way. So the probability that is desired is equal to one minus this probability. So one minus 0 0.6862. And this is equal to 0 0.3138. And this is our answer. So this is all for this question.